Afternoon folks, just going to do a quick eye test podcast for Burnley against Spurs, just watched 90 minutes, very good game, very enjoyable. Uh, Burnley came out on top 2-1 in the end, a big dent to Tottenham's title hopes. Team news first of all, uh, the big big news was Harry Kane came straight back into the starting lineup a couple of weeks ahead of schedule, I don't think any of us really seen that one coming. Um, in defence, there was no Trippier and no Sanchez for Spurs, they weren't even on the bench. Um, so Aurier and Danny Rose played as the wing backs. Vertonghen went back in at centre back, and uh, Foyth played as well. And um, Foyth had a very poor game. Every time I've watched him for Spurs, he just looks like a weak link. Uh, you know, he gets bullied. He, he got bullied by by Ashley Barnes and and Chris Wood today, and he, and he was taken off towards the end as well when when they changed formation. So I just I just don't really see what Pochettino sees in Foyth. I know he's a young kid and he could improve, but any time I've seen him, he's been very poor. I think he picked up a yellow card as well for a pretty rash challenge. There was no surprises in the Burnley lineup. I think that's the sixth game running where they've named an unchanged team. So the young kid McNeil kept his place, uh, and again he he was he was the guy who who passed the eye test more than more than anyone today for me. Uh, I think he's around four point four four point five million, um, and obviously Burnley are a good team uh, for us to target because they play in the blank game week. So. An interesting stat before kickoff: uh, Tom Heaton, uh, his he's got an eighty percent save ratio this season, uh, which is better than any other, uh, better than any other keeper in the league. And again, he was he was equal to almost everything that that Spurs uh, threw at him today, apart from the goal. There was one one uh, one very good save in particular it was a long range effort from Harry Kane heading to the top corner. It was a great save. But what was the most impressive about Heaton today was his you know his playing as a sweeper almost at times when Spurs were trying to find Son and Kane uh, with three balls. Heaton was always there to, to mop up or, or make a clearance. So they're just a much better defence when he's in there. Um, and, you know, they're unbeaten since since he's come back in. So that, that explains it all. Ashley Barnes, another great performance from him, got himself on the score sheet again. Uh, the Austrian coach was in the crowd watching him, so... Surely he's going to make his, his debut for the Austrian senior team soon. I think he's played underage, so uh, he, he I think I think Sky gave him man of the match. Um, he, he just always he always puts in a good shift, and, and he got his goal, got the goal that he deserved. He went very close first half as well. He he probably came the closest to scoring out of anyone first half. A uh, very good effort that just went over the top. Um, apart from that, not an awful lot happened first half. McNeil, I noted down at half time that McNeil was looking threatening first half. Um, and again, Heaton was just equal to everything that Spurs threw at him. Ashley Westwood was taking most of the corners, um, but then early, early in the early in the second half, McNeil took his first one, which which resulted in the first goal. It was a great delivery. He's got a great left foot, McNeil, uh, and Chris Wood got on on the end of it to head in. Shouldn't have actually been a corner in the first place. Looking at the replays, Vertonghen was furious that the the corner was awarded, but. Burnley, Burnley will take that all day long. Um, just before Burnley went 1-0 up as well, that was when Kane had that long-range effort that almost went in the top corner. So it could have been a very different game if that one had went in. Then, 64th minute, Kane got the equaliser. It was a, a very, very smart play from Danny Rose to take a quick, long throw. He did steal quite a few yards, uh, but you know, no offside from throw-in. So it was a great great ball from... Great throw-in from Kane. Uh, Danny Rose to set Kane through, and he did very well. He, he showed great composure to, to slot the ball past Heaton. Uh, you know, for for coming back from from an injury, Kane looked very sharp, and he did he did pass the eye test big time for me today. Um, our man's son didn't. Now again, like Philippe Anderson last night, when, when you want them to deliver and and you watch the game, they just they they just fail spectacularly. And I put up a a, a short clip of of a. An attempted bicycle kick from from Son in the game, so check that one out, and that just sums up his performance today. So, uh, Burnley got the winner in the eighty third minute. It was it was a, a, a kind of a mazy run from Goodmanson, and he scuffed his shot, and it just found its way to Ashley Barnes at the back post. A, a very easy tap in, but you know Barnes was in a good position to get on the end of it, uh, and Barnes is Barnes has been great value. Himself and McNeil are, are two players I'm definitely going to keep a you know I'm very interested in them now. Burnley seem to be the real deal. You know they're putting in great performances week after week, and I've always had this thing in, in fantasy where I avoid 
Burnley attackers. But you know, watching them again today, I think I need to you know rethink that and consider these players who are very good value. And I think watching McNeil today, I I'm always I was kind of worried that the likes of Brady and Goodmanson could threaten his place in the team. But I think he, he it looks like he's done enough to make it his own. I don't think Dice can drop him now. He's playing so well. And I think if, if anyone's to lose out, it might be Hendrick. Hendrick had a very good game on the right. But maybe the Goodmanson might go on slot in there or, or even Brady. So I think McNeil should be safe enough from what I've seen today and you know snippets in recent weeks as well. Uh, he, he's only 19. I didn't actually realise in commentary they said he's a, a former Manchester United trainee. So obviously that explains why he's such a good player. Um, that's that's it. Uh, Ericsson Ericsson took most of the corners for Spurs with with no Trippier there. But again, like Spurs have been doing all season, they take them they take most corners short. And I guess you know Burnley are pretty strong, airily. So that was probably part of why they they played a lot of the corners short. Um, so there wasn't a huge assist potential there today for Ericsson. Uh, he did look he did look good in, in in parts, but overall Spurs were were pretty poor. You know they never really looked like winning the game, and. You know, back to Son. I got him in last week. You know, he's he's hurt me most of the season. Got him in last week and got a got a late goal from him. But today, again, he, you know, he looked he looked good first half. He he was he's you know he's playing much further forward than Kane. He was kind of stretching the defence, and, and Kane was more often not coming short to pick things up. But there wasn't a, a huge amount of service for Son. Uh, and Burnley defended very well. That that was the main takeaway really. Uh, they they restricted Spurs to to very few clear cut chances. So. Frustrating day for uh, Sun owners and Sun captainers like me in particular. Now, I think it is Chelsea and Arsenal next, um, as far as I know, for, for Spurs. So, I don't know, what do we do with Sun now? Do we keep him or, or do we not? That's the question we need to ask. Um, the I'm probably not going to bother following the 3pm games. There's only two games at 3 o'clock, so I think I'm just going to switch off for a couple of hours and, and be productive. And... Um, I'll sit down then most likely and watch Leicester against Palace. I've got uh, brought in Ricardo Pereira as well this week, so more than likely another two pointer there for a for for my transfer in this week. So I'll if I do watch Leicester Palace, I'll be back this evening with another eye test. Enjoy enjoy your Saturday, folks. <laughs>